Hi guys, so this is a special Christmas edition. I hope this video finds you well and that you are able to uh, have a nice Christmas time with your family. So we decided to take you with us on our bivouac for this Christmas time. So we are in the Swiss Jura and we found this nice spot. So here's the defender and the children and my husband are over there uh, starting to prepare the fire. So we bought some meat and we're going to cook a nice uh, dinner, nice supper, <laughs> because it will be for tonight. It's the afternoon now and I'm going to show you and take, take you with us during this nice afternoon and night. <laughs> So while they are continuing to prepare the base of the fire, because we need a really good fire today, because it's going to take a long time to cook what we've taken, and I'm going to take you with me and show you how I'm going to prepare the car for the sleep. Later on I will prepare this, but I'll show you what we take and what we have in the car when we go out uh, explore uh, either like today or on the weekends or even for longer holidays and I'm gonna take also the um, the cooking utensils and uh, cooking pans because uh, the children haven't eaten yet before taking everything out from the trunk because I don't want to put everything on the ground because it's uh, kind of wet. I want to make sure that everything is prepared to receive all our stuff from the back in the front. So I'll have to first pull completely forwards the front seat and check behind uh, on those back seats uh, if the children didn't do all this stuff. Well, Okay, there's only two bags, so it's fine. Ah, le Il va pas tourner. Est-ce qu'il est déjà bien Here's the trunk, no more stuff inside. I've put uh, almost everything uh, in the front of the car. Uh, we still, I still kept here uh, the food bag because I'm gonna cook for the children here. And I'm gonna show you in front and the back seats. So there at the back, you can see the tools that we had in the trunk before. And I'll have to fold those back seats to prepare the bed for the children and here in the front front passenger so we have 
our sleeping bags here, but I'll take them up in the rooftop tent. Uh, our camera bag and also uh, the bag with the children and my clothes. And as it is winter, we do have a big bag because I took all the uh, snow, snow, snow clothes. But there's some snow, but not that much because we're not that high here. We're gonna add the food bag here and there's another bag with my husband's stuff. Today it's a bit special because they are the three of them preparing the fire and I'm showing you uh, everything. But on the normal uh, stop overnight or uh, when we are traveling, uh, we are doing this really, really <laughs> more quickly than today so today we are just relaxing and having a good time good family time for this uh, christmas day There, so Jad is uh, taking care of the pasta. Now we're gonna see the boys. Where are they with this fire? Okay, so here's our Christmas meal, Christmas bivouac meal, we're gonna call it. So we bought some lamb and you can see <laughs> we've put the lamb on, on some wood and are cooking it, that's all. And now I'm gonna prepare some vegetables and we're gonna also cook the vegetables on the fire. I just wanted to show you our defender because Jad put up our Christmas tree lights on the defender and I think it's kind of fun. Let me know what you think about it. Have you already also done this for Christmas with the kids? There it's... Yeah, we're in the middle of a forest with Christmas lights on the camper. That's fun. So we are still cooking our lamb on the fire and I have prepared the vegetables. We're gonna cook them later on because the meat will take a long time to cook. And uh, even later on, I'm gonna prepare uh, the sleeping uh, in the interior of the Defender because it's night. I'm not sure I will be able to film because uh, obviously you won't see anything. Mint. 
okay we are still next to our fire so the meat isn't ready yet we tried to uh, slice it a little bit to check and the lamb wasn't ready so we're still uh, waiting it's cooking now for about four hours so it takes quite a long time um, but we do enjoy our evening After five hours we decided to take off the meat so as you can see it seems to be really good and the children were really hungry so we couldn't wait <laughs> more longer than five hours so now we're gonna enjoy this meat I hope you will also enjoy your Christmas with your family if this was possible for you and I wish you all the best. Talk to you soon. Bye.